Just hit record. Okay, okay. thank you. So number one is deciding you wanna hold parties. Number two is deciding when can you hold them? So you're gonna take a calendar, square out anywhere that's an option. Now remember, you're gonna have more squares than you want to book. You might have six squares in a week and you may not wanna fill all six, but when somebody, when you get somebody on the phone, you don't wanna say, well, wait a second, I gotta go check with my husband about that. And what day was the kid's thing? Or what day are we leaving on the camping trip or whatever? So figure out exactly when you're available. Now you're gonna make a list of your, your 5A and your 5B people. Your 5A people, your, your A people are people that they got your back. No matter what in life, they are pro you. They are behind you, no matter how insane your idea is. Might be your sister-in-law, might be your daughter, might be your mom, might be your next, it might be your BFF from another state, someplace else. Might be your college roommate, whatever. Five people that you know you could count on in life in general. Like if you were having a terrible day and you were in tears, you'd pick up the phone and possibly call them and you know they'd be there for you. Now your 5B people are just as, just as important to you, but maybe they are not necessarily the person you'd go first to at two o'clock in the morning when your car breaks down, and you need to ride on the freeway. You know what I'm saying? They're still important, but they're like your, your backup. So you've got your 5A. Those are going to be your first five phone calls. Now, I'm going to tell you guys what works for me. You are not going to text these people. Yes, those of you who are under 35, you are going to pick up the phone. You're going to push a bunch of buttons and somebody on the other end is going to say hello and then you're going to talk. Now, when they say hello, you're going to say some very key things. I want you to write these little statements down. Not, you're not going to say them exactly like this. I'm excited with a new format. So you're going to talk about the fact that you're excited about this new virtual format. I'm excited. The word excited is important. New virtual format. Now the next line is just as important, but I'm nervous. And then you can add whatever you want to that, but I'm a little nervous or I'm nervous about this or whatever. And I need so many parties to, to figure this out. So you might say, and I only need eight parties this month to really, to really master this, or I need 10 parties this month or five parties. Don't tell me you need one party to master it. Cause that's just not going to work. Okay. So you need to come up with that. Did y'all, does, if anybody, if this doesn't make sense or you want me to slow down, like wave a hand or put a cartoon thingy up or whatever. Okay. The next thing is you're going to actually get on the phone and you're going to call these people. Now I called with the one that I thought it's really interesting because the first person I called was not a member of my family. It was not a really close friend. It was a lady who had gotten a 12 days of faves for Christmas. Her boss is a woman. She's a financial planner and she bought it for her office manager, but I've never seen anybody get so excited about a gift. She every day rewrapped up the ones that she'd pre-opened and put them all back in the drawers. And then halfway through, she started buying stuff. She was, I've tried microderm twice. How much is it? Can I get more? And I tried those eye patches and I want those. She hadn't even opened the 12 drawers yet. And she was already ordering stuff. So when I decided to book some parties in January, I'm thinking, well, I should talk to her because if I'm going to offer free stuff, this lady's already killing me just to buy the stuff at regular price. So she was one of the first people I called. Okay. Um, so this is what I said to Becca. As I said, hey, Becca, it's Diane with Mary Kay. How are you? She goes, good. Now, I'm going to tell you what I offered. I'm not saying you have to offer this. And if your directors have said to offer something else, do whatever you want. This is just what I offered. I said, hey, Becca, I said, this is Diane with Mary Kay. How are you? She said, I'm doing good. How are you? And she was super bubbly. I said, well, guess what? I am super excited about this brand new virtual concept. I'm going 100% virtual a completely different format. And honestly, I'm actually really nervous. And she goes, are you kidding me? Cause she knows I drive a pink Cadillac. So they just think I know things that I don't necessarily know. <laughs> and I said, yeah, I said, well, I'm a little nervous, but I said, I know that if I can just get eight parties under my belt this month, that nervousness, I'll just, I'll just feel really confident. And I wanted to ask you, what would it take keywords? What would it take to book a virtual party with me? And guess what she said? I'll book a virtual party. I didn't even offer her anything yet. Now, the next person I did it to, I didn't get out in one breath. I said, well, what would it take to get you to offer um, to book a virtual party with me and wait till you hear what you get? And then that person who happens to be a, a relative sort of, she said, I'll book a party for you before I even told her what she gets. So sometimes what they get is not necessarily the, the, the tipping point. Does that make sense? So when Becca said, I'll book a party, I said, okay, well, do you want to hear what you get? And she goes, yeah, sure. And I said, you get a hundred dollar shopping spree at half off which you also know doesn't cost you anything. You don't make anything, but it doesn't cost you anything. 10% of the party sales, an additional $25 of hostess credit 
for, for each one of your friends that book a party. Now the party obviously has to hold. You don't just give them all the hostess credit up front. So she gets $100 a half off. She gets 10% of the party sales and $25 of hostess credit for each party that books. Yes, Sherry. Uh, I have to say, I really like that better than a hundred bucks free just for booking. Oh, I don't do that because so there's no way I can't, uh -uh. I'm not doing that. Yeah. I, I, I don't, I, 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 I go in the Thank hole. You. I literally don't make any money. And now that's fine. I guess if you're selling $13,000 in a month, but I'm not selling $13,000 a month and I've got to pay for all the expensive mailing stuff out. I got to make some money. Right. I like that. I, I, so really I do a hundred like and half off, which we're excited. A hundred and half off, 10% of the party sales. $25, $25 of free product for each friend of yours at books. All right. So then Becca says, okay, great. So now, I, now, now Becca is going to say what probably 75% of hostesses say, which is, well, let me get back to you. Let me check with my friends. Right. So you want to have an object. You want to already read, be ready to overcome that objection. I said, I said, well, Becca, here's the deal. I said, getting women together is like herding cats. And I said, if you tell me you want to do something a week from Friday, I'm already booked a week from Friday. So could we do this? Could you and I set a tentative date and then I'll just make you a little invite and you can text it out and see you can make it. And then I just, I just keep going. So I don't even want to deal with that objection. I just keep going and saying, in fact, can I ask you what kind of session do you want to do? Cause you have a choice of three different ones. So I took her off the note. I'm not setting a date to what kind of a party do you want to have? Mm -hmm. are, are you all with me? Mm -hmm. And so I said, I said, well, they're all going to do the anti-aging skincare, but we can either do a spa treatment like charcoal mask, or we can do anti-aging treatments like, so we can either do skincare and charcoal, skincare and microderm, or the skincare and the glycolic peel. I said, which sounds more fun to you? I never asked her what the date was. I just said, which sounds more fun to you? And if she picks the glycolic or whatever, I'll say, well, you see, so you're gonna probably wanna do that in the evening because people don't wanna do that and go outside. I said, are you available at all during the week? You know, like on an evening during the week? Or I don't want to say, or does it have to be the weekend because everyone picks the weekend and I don't work Sundays and Saturday nights, date night. So it's like, uh, I don't book a lot of stuff on the evenings and the weekends. I just don't. And so she goes, no, she goes during the week would be great. I said, you know, people are in a really good mood on Thursdays. I said, how does Thursday, not this Thursday, but the following Thursday. Now Janice's events end at, depending on the speaker, sometimes they're as early as six and they end at seven. I said, well, how about 7.30? We're going to get everybody ready for bed. And she goes, oh, that would be great. I want to do that. Are y'all with me? All right. So now I'm going to screen share. I'm going to walk you guys through what I do. Now, again, I'm not saying this is the only way to do this. This is just what I do. So you all can take this with a huge grain of salt. Okay. So after I, after I call Becca, this is an invitation I have pre-made on pick collage. I just, I, I try to learn Canva after 20 minutes. I said, forget, I'm going back to pick collage. I know that Canva is amazing. I just don't know how to use it. So I'll have to master that one of these days, but I have this pre-done thing pre-made. So literally when I book a party, I just change the date and put the hostess's name here and I send it back out. So I don't make a different one for every single party. It's the same template. Now, if we're not doing charcoal, I take these out and I put microderm and a lady's naked face on here. But in that, it's the same. So it says self-care, for those of you who mentioned self-care, self-care, beauty, wind down, Friday, March 12th, 6.45 p.m. Relax and enjoy pampering with anti-aging skincare, charcoal mask, and gel mask. Please RSVP to Dawn. You will receive a customized pink envelope with all your samples. PJs are optional. And there's the Zoom number. I took the Zoom, the Zoom logo because I find that people, people, I don't know, they don't like Zoom. All right. Now, when I give this to my hostess, this was Dawn, I said to her, Don, I'm going to send you a sample text to send out because you guys, you have no idea what hostesses send out, right? So this is the text underneath here that this is all going to go to you guys. You guys, you don't have to write this down. This is coming to you. It says, hey, I'm excited. I'm having, this is for the hostess to send. This is not coming from you. Are y'all with me? Mm -hmm. Don, the hostess is sending this. So Don sends out a text that says, hey, I'm excited. I'm having a pampering spa party for myself and my favorite friends. My spa experience with Mary Kay, because I want them to know it's with Mary Kay, because if they are going to poo-poo Mary Kay, then just don't come. I mean, that's just my personal thought. I'm just going to tell them right up front, it's Mary Kay, in case they don't see the logo on here. My spa experience with Mary Kay includes a self-care packet of customized skincare, charcoal mask, and gel. Can you text Tyann, my Mary Kay lady? I used to think I was a Mary Kay girl, but I'm over 50, so it's like, I'm now the Mary Kay lady. Can you text Tyann, my Mary Kay lady, at this number? 
with your RSVP, skin type, and mailing address so she can put together your samples, plus send you the Zoom link for our fun night. Um, you, you can pour the drink of your choice and PJs are optional. Can you make it? So this is exactly what I send out. And guess what the hostesses do? They go, oh, actually, that sounds really good. I'll just send that. Mm -hmm. Don't leave it up to your hostess, you guys, because bless their hearts. Yeah, it'll be like, we're going to do this makeup thing and I don't really know what we're doing. And anyway, so people start texting me, right? Which is what you want. You want them to text you directly, correct? Mm -hmm. All right. So I, so my hostess, Dawn, sends this out with this exact wording. Now, obviously, you're going to change it to your name and your phone number and all that. Okay, then I start getting texts. This lady texts me, I have dry skin. Sometimes they don't even give me their name. I have dry skin and my address is blah, blah, blah from like Ohio or some state that's not even near me. And I text her back, great, who is this? <laughs> and she'll go, oh, I'm sorry, this is Heidi Smith. <laughs> then I text back Heidi this. I send her a picture of me. So just make sure you write that in your notes, send a picture. This is just my advice. Put a picture of me, not me, put a picture of you. And then I say, hi, whatever the lady's name is. Hi, Tess, this is Diane with Mary Kay. I'm Bonnie's Mary Kay consultant. And I put all these ridiculous emojis. I'm excited to have you join us for some fun pampering with skincare and charcoal masks because I don't know exactly what the hostess has said to her, but usually charcoal masks will get him excited. And in case for some reason the hostess didn't include the picture, I'm telling her the date on Saturday the 10th. Uh -huh. I have a few questions about your skin. What time later today can I give you a quick call? Even though I already know her skin's normal. I already know what I'm gonna put her on, but that's not the point. I'm, I wanna know, does she have a consultant? What does she use? Are you with me? <clears throat> and she will text me back, like these three people who I'm gonna call all tonight for my party this weekend. She says, oh, you can call me at five. I said, I can't call you at five, I have a call. She says, well, call me when your call's over. So let me just um, role play. Nan, do you mind if I pick on you for a second? Sure. Okay, so let's say Nan texts me, you can call me right now. And I said, okay, so I call and Nan answers the phone and says, hello. And I say, hi, Nan, this is Diane with Mary Kay. How are you? I'm doing great. How are you? I'm wonderful. I'm looking forward to having you over at um, Bonnie's party on Friday or Bonnie's party on Saturday. Tell me, you said your skin is normal. So can I ask you, what are you currently using as far as skincare goes? I'm not using anything right now. I just use the washcloth. Okay. All right. So tell me, what is your nighttime routine? That is a perfect question to ask you guys. What does your nighttime routine look like to your face? So when you're getting ready for bed, what do you do to your skin? Um, just wash it with um, water and, and, a, and a wet rag. Okay. So you don't use anything to remove any dirt or anything like that? No, no. Okay. So I have another question for you, Tasky. Then how important is anti-aging to you? It's very important. I need to start something. Okay, well, you're going to have a lot of fun. So what we're going to do, you're going to be getting a pink envelope in the mail for me. And then there's a whole strip of anti-aging skincare. And it's not complicated. It's only three pieces in the morning. And you just swap out the day and the night cream at night. Um, but we're also going to do a charcoal mask, which is deep cleansing, which I bet your skin is going to love. Obviously, since she doesn't wash her face, but you don't say that. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and, then, and then we're going to end with a gel mask. So let me just verify your address as uh, 55 Hawthorne Lane. Um, and I've got your zip code. And you know what I'd love to tuck in and it's like a secret sample. Maybe that's something no one else is getting. What else would you love to try? Um, some eye colors. Oh, some eye colors. So you're in eyeshadow. Okay. Can you give me an idea? Would you prefer like plums, browns? Brown grays? tones. Huh? Brown, tone. brown, brown tones. Brown tones. Okay. So we're not going to advertise that to everyone else at the party though. Okay. Don't say, oh, look at all the cool shadows I got. Cause you're the only one I'm sending those to. Okay. So I'll Sounds be getting good. those all in the mail to you. Text me at this number when you get your packet so I know you got it. And then I'll be texting you a link in a couple of days, okay? Okay, great, and, thank and you. Any, and I will also ask, have you ever tried Mary Kay before? Oh, no, I have never tried it before. Never, oh my God, I'm so excited because we've been around a long time. And I've been in the industry for 30 years, so I should know pretty much the ingredients and the questions you have. So I can't wait, I just can't wait to meet you virtually and I will see you on Saturday. Wonderful, sounds great. All right, take care, my dear. Thank you. All right. And then I hang up. So do you guys see how that doesn't take much time? But I always ask them, tell me what your nighttime routine looks like. If she's a, I use a vitamin C serum, then I use a toning thing, and then I use a lifting thing and a whatever. Then I'm thinking, okay, maybe I should introduce her to repair because she obviously cares. You know what I'm saying? So it kind of helps you kind of understand the mindset. All right. So then a few days before the party. So I get the packet out immediately. And one other key thing, you guys put a little tiny personal note. It could be a post-it note, literally a post-it note that says, can't wait to see you. Uh, can't wait to meet you virtually. And then I put Diane with a smiley face because my, 
my new team member sent them out and she says, well, you know, I was a little bummed that she didn't put a personal note in there. And I went, oh, I forgot to tell her to do that part. So people, that makes a difference to a lot of people, just a little tiny post-it note inside. All right, so then three days before the party, Nana's gonna get this. It's gonna say, happy Wednesday, it's Diane with Mary Kay. I'm looking forward to your pampering this Friday at 645 and the more emojis. You wanna pull your hair back, have a washcloth and water, plus a mirror to see what you're doing, LOL. Be sure to have your pink envelope with samples and the beverage of your choice. PJs are optional and I can't wait to meet you. Please jump on. You could put in here 15 minutes early or you can put the time to start relaxing and we'll go through your samples together. Set your alarm. And so then again, in this is the Zoom link. Now, the reason why I want them on 15 minutes early, um, I've even had the hostess say, don't even put down the time of the party, make it all 15 minutes early because then you have time to go through their samples and then you can start on time. When you're doing two parties in a night, you guys, you don't, you can't have it starting 30 minutes late. Mm -hmm. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? You just, you got to have it kind of started on time. Okay. Then when we go, all right. So then we're, we're doing the party, right? And one of the things I do is I really talk. Am I supposed to end in one minute? I'm supposed to end in one minute, huh? No, no, go. Keep, oh, you okay. have all the so, time in so, the world. Okay. So in the packet, so in the pa packet, I do do the hashtag party board, which is just like a tic-tac-toe. But I will tell you guys, for my consultants who say, oh, I'm not going to do that. They can draw on a piece of scratch paper. I'm going to tell you there's something mental about having this sheet. Mm -hmm. There is something mental. They keep these, which I think is hysterical. So you, what I do, as soon as the package comes out, I say, okay, everybody, let's unpack your samples. And I explain to them, I show them a charcoal mask. I show them all the whatever. And I'll say, now, this is your hashtag party board. This is, make sure you put your name in the hostess's name. This is going to be fun. This is everything you would love your fairy godmother to tiptoe into your bathroom while you're sleeping tonight and for free because your fairy godmother is paying for it, what would you want her to leave you? Like if this sonic brush is like, oh, I'd want that, put it on here. But if you're thinking, I would never use that, then don't put it on your list. If the fairy godmother left it for you and you wouldn't use it, don't put it on your list. And so then they start to laugh and then they go, okay, okay. And I said, so I'm hoping that you guys, between the samples I gave you and things I'm going to show you, I'm hoping you find lots of things you'd love for free. And I said, there's no obligation. Just write down anything you would love. I said, now at the bottom, there are three questions. And do I have any teachers in the group? Do we have any teachers in here? We don't have one teacher in this whole group. You gotta be kidding me. None of you guys are former teachers. Jennifer goes, I don't know. I might be a teacher. I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> I was for 10 years in my past life. Okay. So I always say to the teachers, I said, okay, now educators, you're going to love this because I have three questions and I'm going to give you the answers. Best kind of quiz you can have. I can tell you the questions and it's multiple choice. I said, but, but remind me you guys not to forget to tell you because everybody gets a gift when they send this to me 30 minutes from the party. Okay, so we're gonna get started. And I start showing them eye makeup remover and the sonic brush. And I must mention the hashtag party board probably eight times throughout the party. And I'll say, oh my gosh, you guys, if you think that, if you guys think this was amazing, make sure, and I'll, and I'll hold that, make sure you write it on here. And then I'll go, and while the charcoal mask will say, if you guys love this, make sure it makes your sheet. And then some girl goes, well, what if I run out of squares? I said, well, it's okay, write it over to the side, it's all good. <laughs> All right. So then on the questions, you guys know the questions already, right? I do very similar to Jen's, so I don't need to spend time on those. So um, one is, yeah, I, I just also do, had two just people. Do, um, okay. So Diane, I had a couple people on the last them? party not understand the first question. So now I change it as of two parties ago. So I said in the question one is, um, would you like me to take care of you as your Mary Kay consultant? Would you like me to be your Mary Kay girl? And I said, because I'm hoping you don't already have one. Now, if you have one, then you put down no, because I know you've already been taken care of, but if not, I'd love to be your Mary Kay girl. So if so, you can just put yes. Now, number two is either free or me. Free being, Diane, you're pretty crazy and this is kind of fun. And okay, so half off definitely sounds like fun and free sounds fun. So yeah, I would love to get together with my girlfriends. Plus, Sherry gets $25 of extra free product for every one of you guys that decides. And she's going to come to your party too. And I said, besides you guys, I guarantee you, you're going to find stuff that you're going to fall in love with that you want as free as possible. So they, um, you can write either free or me. And me is just like, no, I'm not really interested in discounts. I'm totally okay with full price. I don't really have a lot of friends I want to do social stuff with. So I'm good. Just follow up with me. And then I said, and the last thing is on question number three, I said, you know, I truly think that every woman should have all the financial options that she needs in front of her. I joined Mary Kay solely for the discount, but I've had consultants in my, in my tenure in Mary Kay come in and earn a car right away or maybe to pay for student loans, or maybe to pay to move out and get their own place. Who knows? But I said, all I want you to be thinking is, if you're even a little bit curious, 
You can either write down no thank you or just write the word info. Info is, you know what? I'd like some more information. There is no quota. There is no territory. You can go as fast or slow. I didn't hold a party for 14 months. So Lord knows you couldn't go any slower than that. I made zero money, but I was in graduate school and working, so I had no time. So, you know, number three doesn't obligate you, but if you're just curious about maybe a side hustle or maybe a massive discount all the time with no quota, just put the word info and I'm happy to just give you some general information. And do you know, you guys, seriously, I bet at the last party of six people, four of the six wrote info. And I'm not saying they're going to be on a sharing event, but at least they're open to me talking to them about it. Okay. So as soon as the party's over, I see you guys. Thank you so much. I hope you guys had fun. I said, now don't forget in the morning, you're going to leave your, you're going to leave your gel mask on because I have them all sleep with the moisture renewal gel mask on. I said, now leave it on. And then in the morning, make sure you just take a wet washcloth and wipe that all off. But I said, you have a half hour to text me this. And you guys, you're going to be so glad you did because you're going to love the gift. So text me this. Did you guys all have fun? I hope you all had fun. Good night, everybody. And then I just log out. And then my phone starts going ding, ding, ding. So as soon as they text it to me, if it's late enough, I don't respond. If it's past like nine o'clock or 8.45, nine o'clock, I don't usually respond. Um, but you could if you wanted to. And as soon as I get the text back, we're going to go back to my email. I say, this really, it says, good morning. I hope your face feels amazing this morning. Thanks for texting me your hashtag sheet. What time today before one or after one are you available to talk? Because so that is my generic, or you could say, you could even send it that evening. You could say, um, great to hear from you. I hope you're, the thing is, I really like sending this out the next morning. I figured I don't want to be that available that I'm texting people at nine o'clock at night. <clears throat> so unless it was an earlier party, but this is what I send out. <clears throat> And they text me back. What I love about this is they'll say, oh, call me tomorrow at 10 <clears throat> or call me, call me this afternoon at two. So when you call at two and I say, hey, it's Diane with Mary Kay, they're expecting you to call, right? They're not going, who is this? They're telling me when to call. <clears throat> now, the other thing that I do do is I took, I went to FedEx Tinkos. I'm a, I'm a system person, you guys. So I, I took um, <clears throat> profile cards and I put them on, on, uh, on the glass on FedEx Kinko's and I just bought a ream of, it's not thick paper, it's just regular 20 pound pink paper. But <clears throat> all of these people are people who are just in the last 60 days, like these are all, all these are, are, if they're on pink, that means I saw them virtually. An actual profile card means I've seen them in person, <clears throat> but I'm not really doing anything in California. Everybody keeps getting COVID or whatever. So we're not doing anything in person. So as soon as I get their hashtag party board, um, let me show you what I did with Bonnie. So Bonnie is my new team member who I didn't know three weeks ago. So as soon as she sent her <laughs> hashtag party board, I transferred her information to the back of the card. So I just drew a hashtag party board and I took from her text. She wrote eye patches, radiance pill, wrinkle filler, body lotion. I talk about the anti-jiggle body lotion. Now she said, yes, I can be your customer free and send me info. And I got a whole bunch of these at one part. I was like dancing in my office going, oh my God, they all wrote free and they all wrote info. I was so excited. And so when she texted me that night, and remember, she told me, I said, what do you want to learn about your skin before the party? When I was pre-profiling, she said, I have rosacea and I want to learn about lines. And so I say, did you have fun last night? How's your face feel? This was sort of like the eight point close sort of. And I say, um, tell me what you'd like to start with. Do, am I going to recruit her right now? No, because I want to sell her product. That is the reason then to recruit her. That's just how I do it. So she goes, oh, I want to start with definitely the radiance peel that I know I want. I said, okay. And she goes, you know what? And I think I want the charcoal mask. So as she's telling me things, I said, do you have your, your hashtag party board still? She goes, I do. They always keep it. And so I'm, I'm putting a line and I wrote the word got, meaning that's what she bought. Got that, got that, got that. And so I'm looking at, she's only ordered one thing on her sheet. She didn't order eye patches. She didn't order deep wrinkle filler. And she says, actually, Diane, she goes, my husband and I are about to run out. She goes, is there any way you and I could talk about this later tonight? I said, absolutely. She goes, well, I'll call you. And I said, well, it's date night for me. So I said, if it's after five, um, you can just text me. And she goes, okay. So she ended up texting me after five and said, I'm so sorry. I know the prices were only good for 48 hours because I give them a special. And I just told her, um, could we, could we uh, talk later? So anyway, when she got on, she said, here's the deal. This is what she said to me. There's a whole bunch of stuff I want that totals over $250. So can you maybe explain to me how this discount thing works? Now she's newly retired, 65 years old, a ball of energy. And I said, sure. So I walked her through kind of how the thing works. And she goes, cause I'm about to order from you an awful lot. 
And she says, well, let me think about it some more. I said, are you sure? And she goes, yeah. So she went ahead and spent $125 with me. And then I sent her a video to watch. Three days later, she jumps on the, the Thursday night opportunity thing, types in, I'm in for free. I about fell on the floor and um, she joined. Now, do you know how easy it was to talk to her about inventory? I delivered everything this to her the day she ordered it. She lives 15 minutes from me. I drove to her house, put in a cute bag with tissue, dropped it off. And I said, well, she goes, you gave me really good customer service and samples. And I, she says, so I want to do this. I said, okay. Um, so she came in as a star consultant, did not even know this lady three weeks ago. And guess when her party is this Saturday. So now she's texting me. I have four more people coming to my party because I do all their samples for them at their first party. So these are all coming to what was going to be my party until I recruited her. These are all now going to be her people. Okay, so throw questions. No questions. First of all, that was awesome, Diane. Don't y'all think? That yes. was awesome. Thank you so much. All right. The, now. You know, the. so you send out, no, you don't send out the pink profile thing with them. You just send out the little hashtag. What I said, let me, let me grab one. Hold on one second here. Are the, is there a template for that somewhere? Did yeah, Jen have a template? Yeah. So what I send them is I send them a lookbook. I send them a strip of skincare and I send them this little, my girlfriend's house bag. And in the bag just has um, gel mask, charcoal mask, and my business card. Okay. That's it. And then if I, and I try to give everybody a secret sample. And sometimes they'll type in the chat privately. Don't forget, I have that special glycolic. You're supposed to tell me what to do with it. I go, I know, we'll talk about it later. Because <laughs> I don't think they're special. I try to give everybody a secret. But write down, you guys write down the samples you give them. Because I swear to God, when you start doing four or five parties a week, you're not going to remember what you gave them. Well, you might. I don't. <laughs> so, so uh, Diane, on that profile card, is that you just make it up for them when, when they text you, you start filling it out? Is that right? So this lady just texted me tonight. Her name is Gracie Torres. She gave me her address. She didn't even give me her phone number because um, the, ho the hostess kept sending me these. And I said to the hostess, I said, Bonnie, you're welcome to have your friends directly text me or keep giving me their phone numbers. And she goes, oh, I keep forgetting to keep texting her. So she said, here is Gracie's phone number. I already know the hostess is Bonnie Bush, my new recruit. And that's the date of the party because it was going to be my party. So I put that mm -hmm. in. When I do ever on the phone, like I was picking on Nan, I will say, oh, by the way, can I get the month and day of your birthday? Because I said, I treat you extra special on your birthday. And if she goes, oh, it's my birthday this month. I go, oh, I'm so glad you told me. Um, and then I'll ask them for their email. But the rest of this is like when they tell me normal to dry or she'll say, I'll say, what are you using? What's your nighttime routine look like? And if she starts listing all these serums, I'll just start writing all that stuff in here. The back, I leave blank until the party. And I just put her hashtag party board on here so that I don't, I can text, I can delete all the text. So you just put this on, you put the regular profile card on the, to copy these onto the pink. Right. But all I need is Let's this. I don't two. need carbon copy. Yeah, because as of April 1, I'm going paperless. So I'm not doing receipts anymore. So as of April 1, I just go on the My Customers Plus app and I'm going to create all their invoices on there. I'm not doing paper invoices anymore. Okay. But just the profile, you're doing this. And I'll tell you what's really good about this is now when Bonnie joins after Bonnie's party, I'm going to give Bonnie all this. And <laughs> she's going to look at the back and say, what is this? I said, everything that's not got a line through it is stuff they didn't buy, but they were obviously interested in it. So we need to go back. In fact, at the last party, you guys, only one person put free and four of them just put me, me, me. And I'm thinking, really? And as I talked to them, this one girl had like seven things on Chili Bot too. And I said, so let me ask you a question. If you could get the other five things at half off, does that not excite you or free? She says, yeah, I know. I was thinking about that. I probably should have wrote the word free. I said, well, it's not too late. I mean, we could, let's do something. She goes, okay, let's do that. So even though she didn't put down free, that was my closing comment on my notes is ask everybody about booking and ask everybody about the opportunity because you don't know right right you literally Very don't good. know yeah um and the other thing just because when you start <laughs> i'm telling you all my all my dark secrets here because i swear to god last week i thought i was losing my mind um after you get a whole bunch of these going on the same in the same like three of these in a week I couldn't remember who people are. They'd go, hi, this is Brandy. I'm going, oh my God, what party was she at? I'm like freaking out. So what I started doing is I wrote the hostess the day of her party and everybody who came to her party. And if I close the sale with them, like I'm done with them other than follow-up, I highlighted them. So Leslie Stern still has samples. She had a, she had a skin cancer issue. So she didn't try samples right away. 
And this gal, her husband had just had a stroke like the day before the party. So those people, now that they're not highlighted in yellow, it tells me just to follow up. So the next party was Fariba's and I recruited, um, I added her to my team and her to my team. Hmm. So, so Carla Dodd still has not gotten back to me. She texted me over Easter. I think I want to order an eyeshadow. I'm thinking okay, it's two weeks after the party, whatever. So I will follow up with her. Dawn's party again, same thing. There's two people that I still need to follow up with. Does that sort of make sense? So mm -hmm. if nothing else, you just get a dollar composition book, put your hostess at the top, put everybody. Because here's the other thing. What if you send out packets to two people who didn't show up? Are you guys going to remember who everybody showed up? You might if you're doing a party a month, but when you're doing three of these a week. Now, you're lucky if you know your own name. I know. And I know I'm getting old. So that's I'm going to I'm going to blame my age on part of this. But that's not funny. Some of you are smirking. OK, so um, but like, <laughs> it's not funny. OK. Um, so, but I'm just saying to you is if this gal never even showed up at the party, but I know she's got samples. So that's up to me to follow up. Now, if I recruit the hostess, I'm going to say, Hey, I think you got a, your first booking. She's already got a packet booker. She's already got something like, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah. So this, this was just, this is a very cheap way to <clears throat> follow what you're doing. Right awesome. Okay. Anybody else have questions? Because I know I've had people asking me, hopefully all of you, your questions were answered with Diane today. You guys, I know this is probably more detail than more you wanted to know, but I'd rather give you too much detail than not enough. Because then it's like, well, what do I say in the text? So once you book it. No, I can't. I, I, the, hostess, no, the hostess text is key. Because when you say to the hostess, do you mind if I send you a sample text? And she goes, no, go ahead. And then I swear to God, they go, this is great. They go copy paste. It's got your name. It's got your phone number. And then as texts start coming back, you send a picture with the other one that says, hey, I can't wait to ask you some questions about your skin. And sometimes they'll text you and say, well, I don't want to do a call. Can I just text? Can you just text me questions? I'm like, sure, with a little happy face. Um, <laughs> and then I'll say, tell me what your nighttime routine is like. And then I'll let her. And then eventually she might say, oh, just call me. <laughs> so do you do, do you Facebook oh. parties too or just Zoom parties? OK, so I, that was one thing I forgot. Thank you, Julie. I do create a Facebook page. Um, it's a private group, not an event, because an event page will expire. So I, I do book a, uh, I do make a private um, group page for that hostess because as they're all joining my team, I'm just going to give it to her as her VIP page. So because she's already got some of her friends on there, so I just have them change the top and have them make up their VIP page. It's um, a group. No, oh, it's a group, not it's a page. A group, not an right? event page. It is on Facebook as a group. I have not yet totally embracing the Facebook live. I've done two of them. I didn't like it. So I called the top director who's already earned the trip this year, but I don't really know. And I said, okay, you're rocking it on this. I, that is not my strength. Can I watch one of yours? And she gave me all her tips, um, but she's doing the same thing. She's sending out, she gives her hostess an incentive if she invites more <coughs> than 25 people. But here's the downside because Corinne Crusty just taught on this. If they go down and they go invite, 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 that is literally like throwing a stapled flyer on a random telephone pole in your neighborhood, inviting everyone mm -hmm. over for dinner. It doesn't, it doesn't work. They really need to copy and paste a private message. That's right. And That's so even if you're going to do Facebook live, I would still book it this way and just encourage her to add everybody to the Facebook page. That's just me. But I, I am going to do Facebook lives this month because I just need to do that, I guess. I'll let you know how it goes. <laughs> Yeah, I'm trying to do my first party and I have no clue what I'm doing. So <laughs> do they, they, don't, they don't, the one thing I do like about Zoom for me, it's very interactive. Um, I, the only time I screen share, I don't, now I don't screen share all about Mary Kay. I hold up Mary Kay's autobiography and I talk about Mary Kay, the woman, and I just hold up her book. I don't screen share pictures of corporate. They don't want to see all that stuff. I want to get them playing with the skincare and washing their face. When the charcoal mask is drying, I show them the other four options, microderm, glycolic, <coughs> and clinical solutions um, as anti-aging options. So, Can you say again, I know you said you talked about things that they put on their hashtag board. When do you talk about those things? Not when their char charcoal mask is drying? Is it just constantly sprinkled throughout? Oh, I talk about like, this thing throughout the whole thing. Oh, okay. I'll say, oh my God, you guys, I wish you were at my house. You guys could be using this, this sonic brush. I said, it is way better than your hands. Like removes 80% okay. more makeup and stuff off your face. But I said, even if you use the texture of a washcloth, but I said, it's amazing. So I said, if you're looking at this going, 
okay, if that were free, yeah, I want one, then just make sure it makes your list. And I kind of joke about it, but I just constantly pull this up and go like this, like you guys, if that's of interest to you. And so when they text it to me, you should see some of the ones they text me, they're like a mess, but that's, that's fine. But I will yeah. tell you guys, even though Jen says you can have them draw it on a piece of paper, I have not had the sales. I have not had them texted back to me. I don't, I know this is silly, but if you go, do you guys both have this? Sherry and Sherry, do you have this already? Okay, if not, I can email it to you. Um, but yeah, it's just four on a page, super simple. Okay, and, and I'm, you're gonna, keeping, I'm sorry. You're keeping your, you're keeping your Zooms right at an hour. Mm -hmm. And, and having everybody go through everything so they can start on time. So you're all wrapped up. My goal is to hour. get them under an hour. I just need to get everybody to get their little high knees on there in time. Cause yeah. like my consultant, you know, so, so far we've been really, really good. Um, and what I did last time as I was done in like 48 minutes and I said, so one gal goes, well, I have some questions about booking, you know, booking a party. I said, well, you're welcome to stay on if you want, but I'm going to let everybody else go. And I just let everybody else jump off. And the other okay. thing is, as you guys team build, have your team members come on. And I only tell my team, Stay off camera and stay off mic. I don't. I don't want to mm -hmm. see your face and I don't want to hear you. You're welcome to. You're welcome to jump on every party that I do as long as you're quiet. Because I want the hostess to feel like it's her special time kind of thing. Mm -hmm. But I'll tell you guys, make sure you do follow up with the people who don't come to the party because they do have samples and they will. And it's real important right away. Because I had a gal go, oh, I tried all the samples last night. I said, you tried the glycolic and the microderm, and she goes, yeah. And I said, oh, well, those were for two different nights, which uh, she obviously didn't read the note. So it's just kind of like people they're going to do whatever they want to do, but follow up because it could be a potential sale or potential booking or potential team member. Okay. But I'm going to forward that email you guys that has all the texts in it. Um, the texts don't look like that. It's like one's purple ink. And that's just because I copy and pasted them from my phone into an email um, and feel free to add fun emojis. But I think the picture of you is important when you're sending it to the person, the hostess is invited. Make sure you put your phone number on there for the hostess to send out. Just some little things like that. And then definitely respond. Now, for the people who don't re return the hashtag party board, my party on Good Friday, my host, my new hostess wanted to do it on Good Friday. And I, I wasn't going to church on Friday because our church canceled it. Um, so I said, well, sure, I'll do a party with you at six o'clock on Good Friday. So only three of the six people sent me their hashtag party board. So the next morning I said, hey, I hope your face felt amazing. I missed your board. So if you send it to me, can you resend it? Sometimes I don't get good cell service up here. And one and two, the gals go, oh my God, I totally forgot to send it. I said, that's okay. I'll pretend I didn't check my phone. Hurry and send it to me now. You know, so, and then when I close the party, I give them specials within 48 hours. So if they buy skincare, I let them get something else at half off um, that's on my price sheet, but only within 48 hours of the party. After that, specials are gone. Ooh, good. Okay. So the, you guys, the <clears throat> bottom line is decide to do this. Just pick, pick four dates you're available in April. Call those four people that would pick you up on the side of the road and say the words, I'm excited. I'm super excited. This is going to be amazing. But I also want to throw up because I don't know what I'm doing. What would it take to get you to book a virtual party? I need the practice. And then, but if you say, I'm really nervous and I need the practice, what would it take for you to book a virtual party for me? And wait till you hear what you get. They'll say yes. Trust me. So you have them use their samples that you send out before you have the party. Mm -hmm. So then what do you do during the party then? No, that's what I do is I, I misunderstood your question. So I send them all samples that they use at the party. At the party. Okay. At the party. At the party. Okay. I will forward you guys that email that has all the scripts in it. Yes. Uh, Diane, would you make me the host again, please? I will do that, babe. Put my readers <laughs> Diane, back on. thank you so much. You were amazing. Yeah. We thank you. you.